Hello and welcome to this CDP Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we will take a look at the CDP operators. CDP operators are used to apply modifications and filters to signals. In Studio, we have a bundle of pre made operators available in the automation library. Here we have everything from addition operators to PID and Kalman filters. In this video, we will demonstrate how you can apply the multiplication operator to a signal. For the purpose of this video, we will apply a 15 times multiplier to a sign signal. With the system created and the sign component selected, we want to enter the output signal. Here we can add in the operator. We will get the multiplication operator from the automation section in the resource pane. We then need to set an argument for our multiplication operator. We add the argument and set its value to 15. Now we can run the system. With the system running, we head on to Analyze mode to inspect our signal. I'll just scale the graph so that we can see the signal properly. As you can see, the sign signal has been scaled from a range of minus 1 to 1 to now a range of minus 15 to 15. In Configure mode, we can turn the operators on and off using a property in the signal. Here you can see the property. And if I tick it, the sign signal goes back to the normal range. You can also see here the value and the internal value of the signal. The operator affects these uh, a bit differently. I'll display a diagram of how the operator interacts with the value and the internal value of a signal. This was all we had in this tutorial. But now you know that whenever you need to do some signal pre-processing, you can use a CDP operator.